You guys can hear me. Good. All right. So let's just start from the beginning. Thank you very much. Uh, I am sorry for being late. Please forgive me. A lot of technical problems. However, we are here. Let's just go from the beginning. This today we have our special guest Stas will be speaking with him very soon. He is an ambassador in the community and all he is doing is trying to help the community grow at Honeywood, okay? And so if you are a holder of Honeycoin or Cone, Stas is trying to help you because if you have access to cone of course then you can stake them and with those we can produ be producing honeycoin and also we can have access to other things like community governance and being part of the golden bee club okay the golden bee club which stas will talk a little bit about later i'll try to talk with him about that well done okay now good job and so Okay, we've got Stas here on Telegram. He's live. Thank you very much for joining us, Stas. He is an ambassador and a new YouTuber. He's making some pretty cool content. I'll be sharing it with everybody in the general chat now. And so if you have any questions you'd like to ask Stas, please leave them in the general chat and we can pose them to him. Also, be sure to head on on over to his YouTube channel. I'm also putting that in the chat because to share some love and support, learn about what Stas is doing for us at Honeywood. We'd love for you all to know it. Share it, like it, subscribe to it. Of course, Stas, tell us about you. Who are you? Where are you from? And what are you doing at Honeywood? Hello, Richie. Nice to meet you. Hello, guys. Uh, nice to meet you too. Who is watching now this nice stream? So I'm from Ukraine. I'm from city which name is Dnipro. And uh, I'm uh, living here like for all, all my life. <laughs> uh, okay. I I find out myself in crypto more than half a year ago. Then I think in the beginning of summer, I understand that we have some ambassador programs and I learned about it. And, yeah, and I jump it. And one of the first program was uh, Honeywood. So it's re really interesting. And uh, now at least like three months, I am an ambassador mm -hmm. here. And last month, uh, I mm -hmm. was on the sixth place in the total leadboard of Honeywood. Ambassador. Well done, Stas. Yeah, we'll be showing some of your content with the community so people can understand why we love you so much. Stas, please tell us. So you are working as an ambassador for several places? Uh, I know that it's not a good idea to be connected with uh, many ambassadors program because you okay. will not be enough active. So, yes, uh, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, to be honest, of course, uh, two or three ambassadors programs are always in my pocket. So and, Perfect. Uh, well done. Yes, you need the diversity. We need diversity. Well done to you, Stas. And can I ask, what is the life of an ambassador? What is it that you do? For people who don't know about an ambassador, what does that life look like? For my case, uh, as you know, I uh, like to prepare videos. So for me, it is a days when you record in video, then days when you edit in video and uh, thinking about scenario. <laughs> so that's about it. And of course, reading chats, always on connection. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. now as I, you know, get some ex got some experience in it, mm -hmm. I, uh, in ambassador program, people write me and saying, hey, let's work as a team. So it is new sure. experience for me and it's yeah. interesting. So that's what I find out here. It's uh, help to people who just started in it. And mm -hmm. uh, of course, sharing the project with as more people as it possible. I use all social medias, which are popular, TikTok, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh -huh. and so on. Mm -hmm. And if my video come about Honeywood, everybody will know about that. I live in information in uh, Russian and in English. And uh, my content most in Russian, but I, of course, also making the videos on English. Thank you very much, Nas. Good explanation. Everybody, if you're interested to become an ambassador at Honeywood, Let's talk a little bit about that. Stas, could you please start sharing your screen? We're going to play some PvP. And while you are doing that, let me just speak to everybody. If you would like to be an ambassador, 
head on over to our Discord channel, our community managers, Sasha and Anton, or you can write to me also. Just reach out to one of us and we can help you get started. It's quite a simple process. We start you from the beginning. If you're looking to grow, to develop as a content creator, Honeywood is an excellent place to go. We have an excellent place to be with. It's not so intensive, it's not so demanding, and it does take time. If you are a video creator, yes, you need to spend time making your scripts, thinking of the content, the scenarios, and then you video, you need to edit, and that takes a lot of different skills and time. And so if you would like to develop those skills and earn while you do that, Ambassador programs are an excellent place to start. Come on, Stas, let's take a look. Yes. At PVP, let's jump in. Let's jump into the PVP. I'm so interested. How can we unlock 20? Yes, and uh, this is a nice question because uh, I honestly have like a two, three cases when I had possibility okay. to open it. But... Yeah. As you see, I'm using the Kepler wallet, so I suggest to sure, community sure. use it. And uh, okay, tell us about the Kepler wallet. What is that exactly? Mm, uh, this a is a nice on the Hollywood account. How is the Kepler wallet different? Uh, it is comfortable to use it for Honeywood because uh, you can yeah. use for example if you start your way in Honeywood and create account inside of Honeywood you yeah. can use the same monomic and same password to use your Kepler so it seems that you already have a Kepler uh, this wallet this wallet used for a different uh, co um, a different uh, works. networks and mm -hmm. uh, in most of cases for Cosmos so here, if you can see, uh, not, nothing showing because I chose Cosmos Hub. But if I will I just understand. jump I now understand. here, mm -hmm. so everybody okay, can see. There we go. Yes. And so, so that's a jump. way to understand your assets. That's actually it's outside of the Hollywood game. Okay, and you have yes. access to this extension on the browser. So a little bit like MetaMask. It's an yes. extension on the browser, browser, and it's really simple to use, guys. Okay, let's jump in, Stas. Come on. Okay, let's fight for uh, for five, right? It's more interesting. Yeah, that's more exactly. <laughs> exactly. Can you tell us how is your community reacting to the new architecture of the game? I think they do like the new design of the website and the mm -hmm. architecture of the game. Uh, if you are an, uh, um, if you will precisely look to the game design, you will see that buttons uh -huh. become on uh, look on another way, and also sure. the website and the game become a bit faster. But if we yeah. will talk about the website. Uh, they mm -hmm. change everything and they put big amount of information. And luckily, Honeywood was enough smart to make all okay. information very, uh, like, uh, in how to say it better, let's say, in a li little post. So it was like a yeah. big, uh, like a big website, like mm -hmm. uh, standard. Mm. I'm sorry, just forget this word, guys. That's okay. No problem. <laughs> uh, That's okay. It, it was like a, a landing page, long landing page. That's what I wanted yes, to say. Yes, it was a very and now, long landing page. Yes, and now this is full website, which have yeah. a special menu, comfortable menu, so you can jump and uh, in each side of menu, you will find needed information. I think that's good decision and very clever when you got more and more information for new users. Absolutely, yeah. Stas, can you please tell us what developments would you like to see in the game? The dev team, they're always listening and they really like to get to know from the community, from our ambassadors. What would you like to see in the game in the future? Uh, what I want to see, uh, I want to see the usability of fruits because, as you know, we win in fruits in PvP. And okay. uh, even if I will uh, lose the honey and I will lose the PvP, I still have and mentioned information that I have amount yeah. 
of fruits. So um, I want to... Well, do you remember, oh. sorry to interrupt, do you remember at the, it was when we had the bee festival? Yes. Yes, the honeybee festival. We had that. After every oh. match, you could collect the fruits and there was another meter, a separate meter on the bottom. And it allowed you to slowly collect fruits, even if you lost the game. And, you know, it would unlock some, um, you needed to reach milestones to unlock items, decorations, and even bees and apiaries. Yes, I mean, it must, uh, I expect that it will be like usual case, that if uh, somebody yeah. have less experience and losing time by time, but he sure. owning these fruits, anyway, you will mm -hmm. own these fruits. That is the yeah. end of story. And uh, maybe I can use it on my farm. So maybe some special I things like to buy. Yes, so maybe this like idea, and uh, that's cool. I haven't thought about that. Hold on, has anybody else in the community thought about something like this? That's that's a really original idea, because you've taken what we did and moved it one step further. Well done. If anybody has any questions for Stas, please remember to write them in the general chat. And we are honey dropping, so we are air dropping five hundred honey coins to the best question. Stas, good luck, my friend. Let's showcase some PvP action. Yes, let's Come on, talk to us. What's happening? Yes, yes. Let's see how I will win here, or maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that's the not best. Okay. Ah, he got the T. Do you understand how the points system works? Yes, exactly. If you take uh, in one line more than four fruits you will have yeah. opportunity to win one more uh one one more action okay, it's and, you, uh, go. yes and yeah. uh, when you are doing it of course you need to think let's say up front a bit <laughs> mm -hmm. okay but look for example there mm. okay yeah 24 14 24 14 do you play this often uh, extra move, nice. Yes, this guy had extra move. <laughs> <laughs> Do you log into the game often? Do you interact with it regularly? Or is it more content around it, trying to spend more time in informing other people of the game? Uh, yes, uh, I did not make any stream before, so I think it will be more regular practice for me. So it will be really interesting to make more streams if people will enjoy it. But uh, I think that I am not the best gamer uh, in Honeywood, so that's why I did not made it yet. <laughs> but let's see. I think often practice will help me to be winner. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, good job. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? It's so close. I like it when the games are that close. 49, 44, it keeps it interesting. When yeah. someone has 250 and the other has just 45, I kind of give up. How do you grow your community of followers at Honeywood? Can you tell us about that as an ambassador? Uh, yes, in most of cases, I try to uh, invite people to Honeywood when I even talk on my channel about uh, other things. So, for example, I can check some play to earn project and mm -hmm. I will always say, hey, guys, by the way, do you know when we can also have a farm? Uh, for example, maybe, you know, the game like mm -hmm. Sunflower Land. And when we talked about Sunflower Land, we say, oh, OK, we have this uh, farm another nice farm but not with the plants but with the honey so jump into honeywood <laughs> and that's what i'm doing ah, in my videos okay. i understand well done that's really smart so you lost unfortunately 5975 yes. play that again come on let's hit replay yeah let's do it play that again oh and we okay. have an opponent here so we will find it fast okay yeah, we've got similar there. bears. Okay. Yeah, so did you pick up an avatar? Uh, not yet, not yet. No, but, okay. Uh, but I will. Uh, yeah. It will be good if we will send, uh, if we will share the link with community under the stream uh, where yeah, they absolutely. can purchase the avatars. 
It's available nice only idea. on OpenSea. Please tell us about that. Uh, I mean, they are available only on OpenSea or in yeah. other places because, oh. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> it was just an internet connection. Yeah, that's okay. Fine. We are here. But it didn't kick you out. Aha. Uh -huh. It just paused for a second. It only paused for a second. Yes. And open it. Yeah. Okay. So now. please tell us about the avatars on OpenSea. How can we find them? I'll share the link. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. I think it will be also good to offer it on the official website because uh, in most of cases, when I say in about uh, Honeywood, I'm sending people to yeah. the um, to the official website. And on official yes. website, you can just purchase the starting packages and be sure. Uh -huh. And would be good to. Okay. Look, I'm a lucky okay. guy. Okay. Wow. Yay, well done. 26, 18. Come on, we need a bomb. We Ooh. need a bomb at the bottom. The four, four blues. No way. <laughs> There's four at the bottom. Can you see it? Yes, 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 I see. Yeah. I will be enough. Oh, I was not enough fast. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's okay. okay. Ah, he saw it. He got it. Whoa. Boom. No. A little bit of okay. control, you yeah, know? <laughs> Again, it's competitive. I like those competitive games. Yes, but you see, it's sometimes it's a random uh, regime yeah. here. So if yes. you, let's say, take out one fruit, so yeah. you can win. Okay. Okay, so let's think what to do here. This one is good. Well action. done. Stas, what community reaction have you seen about the Golden Bee Club? As you know, it's new at Honeywood, everybody. We've introduced the Golden Bee Club, and it does come with an array of different components, which give a lot of value. But can you tell us more about that stuff, the Golden uh, Bee Club? I did not jump in it uh, deeply, but I think it will grow sure. up. Okay. They, uh, it will grow up uh, day mm -hmm. by day. We yeah. have no enough people in com in community. I mean, we have enough big amount of people in community, but I think that some people still uh, thinking, or we can start the game or not, because uh, okay. even you can see here the PvP. Sometimes we're waiting for a PvP like one two minutes. Sure. So. Yeah. And as, as more will grow our community, as more will grow the club, of course. <laughs> For sure, exactly. Can you tell people about how to participate in the Golden Bee Club? Mm, I'm, as I what told, I'm, to not, I'm, I'm not jumping it uh, right now. Yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, of course, I will prepare the video. By the way, this is a good idea, guys. I will prepare the video about it because I want to know more about that. So I just read information, but don't jump in it in full. Well done. So you'll make a whole video exactly about the Golden Bee Club, yeah? Yes, right. On, on Russian idea. and on English. In Russian and in English. Great idea. I think that's really cool. Okay. You've lost two times in a row. Can you win the third and final time? That's the <laughs> big hope. question on everybody's lips. Come on. I hope you can. You get a match. Their avatar is also available on OpenSea, of course. We are sharing all links. They will be in the description. I'll edit it at the end. Everything is in one place. Can you tell us, Das, how can we help to raise people's awareness, help them understand about things like air quality? Air quality. I think we yeah. just need to write a uh, not long but understandable and descriptive. Um, sure. Um, some some text on Medium, maybe. I know the Honeywood have official Medium, so guys, subscribe yes. on Medium of Honeywood to go okay. to follow the titles, and mm -hmm. uh, and I think that is a good idea to write it. And uh, maybe even if you will make a video as in a face of the Honeywood, it will be also a great idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I will be happy to do the same video on Russian because it's uh, also interesting. There are many questions about it, honestly. And some people thought that if they will purchase a tree, and, uh, you know, mm -hmm. in the tree description, it's written that you have a supply of 
air one. And people think that when they will purchase the tree, they will supply more <laughs> more amount of air. But this yes. is a different story. So I think that must be explained one more time, like in a separate way. It would be okay. more okay. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. Thank you very much. It takes a long time sometimes. As you can see, it can take a couple of minutes to get in. Sometimes it can happen fast. Sometimes it's slower. What do you think about the mobile app stuff? We'll be releasing Honeywood on the mobile app. Would you prefer to play on the mobile game or on the desktop version? Mobile is interesting for me, first of all, because you are free to collect your honey. Because as you know, yeah. as as much more bees in your apiary, as faster your limit will be sure. uh, will be will be fooled. So uh, and when you are in a position when you are on the way or you coming mm -hmm. back from the job and you need to mm -hmm. be near your computer to collect your honey. Otherwise, okay. all all extra hour which you spend out of your computer is uh, just giving you nothing. But when you have an app, okay, I open it, I collect my honey, and it is working. And of course, I'm sure that much more people will play in the PvP regime in this case. Because phone, this is about games, of course. Yeah, I really like the idea of the mobile game. I prefer playing on the mobile much more. Uh, I've never really enjoyed playing games on the PC or desktop anyway. And so for me, I would prefer the mobile game. And I think that the architecture as well, it would be uh, much smoother with a smartphone rather than using a laptop, for example. And so check that out, guys. We we'll... can't wait for the mobile game app. Stas, why don't you back out of this? I think that it's going to take a, quite a while. Do you have any questions for me? Do you have any questions for the dev team? Uh, let me just check. I think I had one question. It was connected uh, Please, with, yeah. farm. Uh, with farm. With okay. farm, yes. I have a question, and maybe even it can be an idea. So we have these nice things which you can find in your uh, store. Uh, which yeah. are about decorations. So Absolutely. it will be interesting for a new years, especially, and uh, for some people who prefer to spend it, not mm -hmm. just to make your farm individual, but of course, uh, get get something from this. So maybe if flowers will give possibility yeah. to your bees to own like zero zero one more honey, the people will be interested to buy it more and more. Or maybe, for example, Fontaine will somehow mm -hmm. uh, influence, will have some influence on air. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So also interesting. And in this case, by the way, uh, Honeywood can make the store of decorations bigger and decorations can become more expensive. And uh, in this case, people will be motivated to buy these decorations in order to increase the honey uh, honey farming. <laughs> That's a really good point you've brought up. And so the question here, it's about utility. How can we use decorations? At the moment, they don't have any utility. It only makes your farm unique, depending on how you arrange them, how many you have. I have seen some different collections. People are being creative with them. However, the utility of the decoration, we're planning to use them as boosters in the PvP. And so, for example, let's say um, the flower pot uh, or uh, the flower barrel, for example. That would come with its own set of specific skills in the PvP to give you boosters. Okay, and that would be different from the lamp and the flag. And so everything would have a different utility in the PvP. That's number one. I like what you said. Um, I don't know about the inflation, how it would affect the tokenomics of the game if it gave you 0 0.001 honey uh, mm -hmm. to the bees. It would affect the tokenomics. But we are looking to expand the store. We want there to be more items. It's only the beginning. There are five now. I can see a time when there are 20, 30, 40, 50, 100. And so how oh. are we going to grow them? We want people in the community to help us. 
please share your ideas. If you are a content creator, if you are good at making visuals, please share it on Discord. You will get the credit for that. We would love to see your ideas because definitely the store is growing. Yes. And if Rich is saying that it will have influence in the future, guys, let's buy right now these nice flowers. What do you think? Let's buy it. I have enough honey and put it here. Well done, Stas. But I would recommend that in the future, save up for trees. The boosters are going to be, this is for sure. I've seen many of the designs, but the air quality, I think it's something people aren't really understanding. It is constantly falling. It is inflation. We do need a separate video in it. Maybe I need to make that video. Stas, thank you so much for coming today. It's a real, real pleasure to meet you. Thank you, Richie. Okay. Any nice final things you'd like to say to the community? Guys, don't don't worry too risky because uh, it's this project is uh, really nice. And uh, even in any site, any project of crypto, if you want to own something, you need to have a bit risk. So do your best and enjoy our community and go with us and uh, purchase your bees and start craft the honey. Thank you very much, Stas, for joining us this week. Everyone will be seeing Stas soon, of course, on Discord. You can reach out to him there. You can find him over on YouTube. We'll be sharing all of his channel information. That will be in the description box as well. Any love that you can share his way, we love you for it too. Because when we do receive those likes, when we do get subscriptions, it just gives us energy to keep on producing content, knowing that there are people out there who value what we do. Stas, thank you very much for your efforts at Honeywood. We officially congratulate you and thank you. We'll be seeing you soon. Take care, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. We really hoped you enjoyed the interview with Stas. He's only doing his best and he has a lot of energy put into this. As you can see, you know, he has the pink light behind him, the gamer chair, the cool microphone. He really does, does have a cool setup and he's so young. And so we can help him grow too. This is so cool. Web3, blockchain, this is the future. This is how we can all be working. I don't want to work in an office anymore for Coca-Cola. I don't want to do that. I don't want to work in a factory. I like working online. I love Web3. I like blockchain. And blockchain gaming is fun in my free time when I'm not working. Hey, I play a bunch of games on here. I do. I play a lot of games, um, especially when I'm traveling, you know, if I'm in an airport somewhere, your phone is there, you don't have your PlayStation with you, you can't just whip it out and play it. And so the online games are cool and mobile app games as well. If you are interested about the Honey Bee Club, I'm going to answer some of your questions soon. Everybody, thank you very much for coming today. We'll continue next week in our live stream. We have our another special guest coming. That's 100%. Look forward to that in the next week. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll be seeing you.